I know that Tony said that our project would only be complete when the Labour Party learned to love Peter Mandelson. <laughs> well, I think perhaps he set the bar a little too high. <laughs> Th though I am trying my best. But the fact is, our project conference is far from complete. The Labour government has never been more needed than now. Needed to fight back against the recession, needed to build and secure our future economic strength, and needed to ensure that we pay down debt in a way that is fair and which protects jobs and homes and our frontline public services. <laughs> and of course, conference, of course we must face facts. Electorally, we are in the fight of our lives. And yes, we do start that fight as underdogs. But conference, let me say this. If I can come back, <laughs> we can come back. <laughs> now, I came, I came into politics to help remake the Labour Party as a party of government. But my relationship with Gordon was forged when people said that we'd never form a government again. And it made us not just modernizers, but fighters, and not just quitters. And conference, and conference, that modernizing spirit still burns as brightly within us now as it did then in those years when we began this journey. <laughs> Gordon, Gordon, I am proud to serve you in your government as you lead the fight back against this global recession and you will have my full undivided attention and my full undivided loyalty until we win that next election and beyond.